Here we are, hooray, finally. Part three, assembling your finished cleaned fan. After you've cleaned your fan. Now first I'm gonna show you, here's the stand. The only real problem that this fan had uh, was, uh, aside from needing a little clean, was that this base was, um, what had happened was two of the, this has got two screws on it. So yeah. Um, there's these four screws here, and two of them were missing. And so they were, the whole thing got warped because with the missing screws, um, they, the things had pulled out, and uh, it ended up warping the whole stand. Not only warping the stand, but the, the ones that were missing, the, the hole that they screw into would gotten bent out of shape. And the, and the whole stand was just wobbly. It wouldn't stand at all. Also, so what I did, first of all, here's the bottom of it. Let me just light it a little better. There you go. Then the bottom of this, what I ended up doing, these parts, went without the screws attached, these parts separated. And they were, this, this had become condensed. So it wasn't as wide, and it made it over the, all the more wobbly. So what I did is I put the pliers in here, and I turned it to to spread this out and make it spread again, so it's uh, holding snugly against each other. And I, I, I did fix that. It just wasn't snug at all. It was all squished together and wasn't stable. And then I uh, screwed in. Oh, and and then the, the holes that were under here, which you. I'd have to unscrew this to show you that we're bent out of shape. I took this outside, took a hammer, and banged it down so that the holes were flush again because the, the metal was like pushed up out of the, out of the screw holes and, and I flattened it down again. Then I added a couple screws. If you see these two are the original screws that fit. And then these are just a couple screws I had lying around. And it's pretty snug now. Pretty, pretty tight and pretty snug did that. And this goes down on here. So now this is this is snug. And this gets adjusted. Now the pole well, doesn't have too much of a range, but there you go. Now the other thing that I did here is you can see that I finished washing the parts of the fan. And this is the motor unit. Uh, it's pretty simple. This goes onto onto this like this, and then the screw. Just tighten this here so that this is secure onto the base. There you go. And I cleaned this a little bit. Just wiped it off with the sponge briefly, and then dried it with a paper towel right away. Also, this whole area, the the whole unit, I just re quickly clean in that manner. Just wipe it here. You don't want to get water inside. And so it's a little bit cleaned off. It's not super perfect. It's not spotless like it just came from the factory, but it's pretty good. And here, of course, is the... Oh, I even cleaned the cord. Yeah. What I did is I had this, uh, you know, my, my, my uh, sponge with the, with the uh, abrasive thing on it. I just held it in my hand. Okay, so here's what I did. I, I held the sponge in my hand, and I just, a few times, I pulled, just pulled the wire through, so it, it cleaned off going through the, you know, I, I held it tight, and it, by pulling it through a few times that way, I managed to clean off the actual wire. So it's pretty clean. Now, it's time to assemble. And I'm gonna lower this a little bit. Uh, oh, turn this down here. There we go. Now we can see how how it's assembled. Now, with the cleaning, with the cleaning of these parts, I counted. There's actually 120 wires going all around. So you to clean the spaces between each pair of wires. There's 120 spaces, and that means to really thoroughly clean each one, each space, because there was dust throughout. Um, if it takes you, like, 
If it takes you 15 seconds for each space to, to thoroughly clean it, that's four per minute. If it takes you 20 seconds, that's three per minute. At the rate of three per minute, to do 120 would take you 40 minutes to clean this whole thing. It is, that's the hardest part of this whole task, is that it's a tedious thing to, to really go, and here's how I do it. Okay, so here's these latches that attach the, the fan, attach the front to the, to the back of this. And there's one, two, three, and four, and then there's the fifth one that's, uh, that goes on top that doesn't, doesn't lift, because this one just sits right in the top. So what I do is I start from this one, and I take my, my little abrasive sponge, and I clean between each one, and I go clockwise. You, know, you can go kind of clockwise if you want. I go clockwise around, one after the other. And I just keep going clockwise one after the other for about half an hour or 40 minutes, sometimes maybe 45 minutes. It might not be how long it takes for you to get all the... And as you, as it, it's dirty. As you're cleaning, you can kind of really see how far you've gotten because you start here and you've gotten up here. These will be clean and these will be dusty. But it, I just do it one after the other uh, in sequence until you make it all the way around the circle and you know you're done when you get back to that that same one. That's, so that's how I do it. It did take about 40 minutes to thoroughly clean this, but it's pretty good, pretty clean. Okay. Now we're going to assemble it, starting with the back. Of course, there, there, there was the front and the back that had to be done, so the whole project could take you an hour and a half just for the cleaning. That's the hardest part of this whole thing. Okay, here we go. This has to go on here. You can see one hole and two holes on top, two holes on top and one hole here. just fits right on. They go right into the hole. It's very obvious where it belongs. That's it. That's exactly where it belongs. Now, take the, the two of these parts. This one goes in the back. It's got screws in it, uh, screw threads. So, put this here. There you go. And it tightens in the normal direction because uh, it's supposed to stay snug. And the, the, the uh, whirling of the fan blades doesn't affect this getting snug. It goes in the, in the clockwise direction to, to tighten it. There we go. I don't need any special tools or screwdrivers to assemble this. I did need a screwdriver for the base, but but usually you don't have to even mess with the base. That's usually not a problem. <coughs> That's nice and snug and secure. It's tight. Next we take the fan blade. And this didn't take any time at all to clean. Just straightforward. You don't have to go through each little one. It's take you, you know, two minutes, three minutes to clean. Now, you'll see that there's, it's not a complete circle, there's a flat part on the bottom, and that matches with a flat part on this, right, oh, the flat, flat part on this is, I think it spins, so it, depending where you stopped it, it would be anywhere, so this happened to stop this way, and it can only fit in the right way with the flat part on the right side, right part of it has to be flat. Uh, Okay, good, so now the flat part is facing upwards. There we go. There we go. Uh, come on. This uh, is a little difficult trying to just find how it's supposed to sit on here. Yeah. Or maybe if I need to have... Ah. Ah. No, it still spins. Yeah. This isn't that difficult. It's just... Mm, usually not a problem. Okay, so I'm just going to try to hold this. Mm. Mm. No, this is not usually a difficult, difficult task here. Mm. Yeah. This is weird. This is not usually a problem. It just fit, fit right on. Just, just when, it's, when it slides, when it gets right, it just slides right on. Ah! Not the smoothest how to video. This is weird. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, this is this, this is just plain silly. Face up, face up, slide on. <coughs> Come on, slide in. God damn it. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, this is obviously not an edited video. It's just real time. <coughs> this is just fired on. It shouldn't be such a problem. <laughs> this is never I've never had a problem with this part of the part of the process before. Come on. And then there we go. Come on. There it is. Ta da! Sorry that took so long. Never usually have a problem with that. It just fits very snugly. There we go. And lastly, well, it's almost lastly, you got this knob, which goes the reverse of normal direction. Presumably, if it went in the normal direction, it would fly off or something when the thing was spinning, but somehow the way the design works is it tightens to the left. You got an arrow trying to tell you to indicate which way to go. Now, so you tighten it to the left to make it nice, nice and snug. There we go. It's not moving, it's not going anywhere. There's your fan. And last, you've got the front of the cage. You've got the top part that doesn't latch that you want to have at the top. And you want to put it, uh, all right, well, this is like as long as it's facing up. And right in the middle, pretty much right in the middle. Where you want to do it. That one so that fits there, then you just uh, tighten on the left here. This one just latches down. This one just latches up. Just like that. There's two more. One down here. Latch it. And one down here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the finished assembled fan. Good as, almost good as new. Let me just show you how it works. How well it works. Now, I'm not going to just leave it down here. Uh, it's down here on the rug. And you plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Yeah, so cause now, of course, you see, this is necessary because you didn't want it to have, you didn't want it to be plugged in while you were doing all that assembly. You did not want any chance whatsoever of, of hitting the on button and have it start spinning when you're assembling. But now, nice, now look at it, it can, uh, the, uh, it swivels in all these directions, this direction, that direction, and here we go. Uh, low speed, medium speed, high speed, and here it's oscillating. Works fine, it's oscillating, high speed fan. And here's the little knob that you can pull up to make it not oscillate. Stationary in one direction. Or put it in front of the window, best of all, when you've got the window open. And it oscillates and it just circulates all that fresh air. So I know that's a lot longer than this should have taken. It should have been a one minute video. But there you go, there's the assembled fan. And it cost me nothing. It was just thrown out in the trash. Not because it didn't work. If anything was wrong, then it was just the base. It's quite solid now because I used a hammer and, and screws on it. And it's nice and clean. And keep me nice and cool.